Hello, I'm Bob Norton, CEO of Airtight Management and creator of the CEO and Entrepreneurship Bootcamp. And this is a session on competitive intelligence and also counterance. Here's the goals for the segment. First, we're going to talk about what competitive intelligence is and also about setting up counter intelligence so that competitors can't do all the same things on you that you should be doing on them. It tends to be ignored and it's a big liability and also a bigger opportunity to get ahead of your competition and understand by advanced warning where things in the industry are going. Number two, we're going to talk about how to do it. I'm going to give you a specific list of tactics, all of which you should consider doing to gather information so that you're well informed, not just about what's happening in the marketplace today or the space you operate in, but what's going to be happening over the next several years. Number three, talk about how much time and budget might be appropriate. We have some statistical information on what companies spend on competitive intelligence based on their company size and other factors. I'm also going to give you a large list of resource as for competitive intelligence, places you can get enormous amounts of information that most people don't know exist, but is available publicly if you know where to look. And then lastly, as I said, we're going to talk about counterintelligence. How do you prevent others from gathering information on your plans and things that are not public information, which can be gathered in many different ways? I'm also going to mention the foreign threat, which is a real thing. Countries like China and Russia and, and other countries spend a fortune and have thousands, literally thousands of people working to steal intellectual property, uh, patents, and other kinds of information from the United States. It's a huge target because we spend an enormous amount on research and development and generate a lot of intellectual property, so it must be taken very seriously. So first, let's decide, or, or define rather, what competitive intelligence is. Competitive intelligence, or corporate intelligence, sometimes it's called, refers to the ability to gather, analyze, and use information collected on competitors, customers, and other market factors that contribute to a business's competitive advantage. So there are many components to it. We've got a little diagram up there, which is just one source of looking at the, uh, the process that can be had. But like most other things, you'll notice it's a circle. And I love the word iterative because you're always revisiting these things uh, rapidly to update them because things change in this world very rapidly. Competitive intelligence is important because it helps businesses understand that their competitive environments and, and the opportunities and challenges it presents. And you can literally get multiple years advance warning if you're doing competitive intelligence right. Now, don't be fooled into thinking competitive intelligence is just for big companies. This is a huge industry. There are thousands of uh, members of the uh, competitive intelligence society. There are courses on this. And, you know, literally billions are spent on this every year. Granted, the bulk of that is spent by big companies, but it's also true that most small companies and startups can do the bulk of this very easily and rapidly. So the Competitive Intelligence Foundation matters, and you've got to gather this data around your space, and most importantly, your top three to five competitors that may be you know, most directly competing with you. Of course, if you're differentiated, they aren't competing directly, but they may be tangential and they may be able to move into your marketplace. And so you have to watch them and see your trends. And you can get years warning from their advertisements for employees and what buildings they're building and all kinds of other public records. So let's talk about the Companies that share competitive intelligence daily or weekly were actually twice as likely to see revenue increases. So that's sort of empirical proof that companies that do competitive intelligence are naturally going to grow more rapidly because they're well informed, they're more professional, and essentially they're having years notice to make plans and make sure they're not directly confronting 800 pound gorillas in the market 
and remain differentiated and niched in a market that they have a chance of winning, if not dominating. Companies that saw revenue increases were 63% more likely to increase their competitive intelligence headcount. And yes, there is a, a headcount. Uh, and if you look at some of these companies, they're doing massive things to increase their ability. If you take a look at this, you know, the marketing department often has budgets for competitive intelligence. The strategy and research department does. The various uh, sales departments will be trained to gather information because, of course, if they're direct sales, they're out in the field looking at all of this. And the product management, of course, people that are adjusting and setting prices and making distribution decisions, and they really need to look at all these things. So these are, are very real and serious things that most new entrepreneurs don't spend any time on, especially if they're not from sort of a big company environment. Uh, looking a little more at this, here's the uh, headcount, or uh, I'm sorry, the non-headcount budget. So what people are spending, and you'll see here that there are companies spending $100,000 to millions of dollars. Granted, you know, Walmart has 100 people that do nothing but this probably, and it might even be several hundred people, you know, in, in Arkansas, and they're gathering pricing information and all kinds of other stuff. But most small startups should also have a dedicated slice of time. I'm not saying it's dedicated employees, but a dedicated slice of time in an active competitive intelligence program to gather data. According to figures, a survey found that 82% of companies with over 10 million, I'm sorry, 10 billion, had some kind of competitive intelligence organization. So that means literally a department of people that did nothing but gather intelligence for the company. Uh, a full course is available from the Competitive Intelligence uh, Industry Trade Group, SI, SCIP, and experts in the field insist that they're doing legitimate market research, okay? I mean, there are gray areas. There are things you can do uh, to gather intelligence that may not be legal. People have been caught doing that, and some of them have been scandalous. But essentially, you can get everything you need from public information. And so there's probably no reason to be fishing in people's trash cans, as police officers are known to do, and dumpsters, because if you're on private property trespassing, you know, you're at least in a gray area and, and maybe doing something blatantly illegal. That will depend on local state statutes. And so I don't want to make a comment about that because it's the federal law may not be the same as the other laws in your state. So if you're doing something that you get a sense might be in a gray area, always best to, to check the laws. But this information is available publicly. And there's a little pie chart there. You can pause and study if you like. What's ethical? What's legal? 